Are you in a cuddle rut? <clears throat> what does that mean? It means that you're either seeing someone professionally or maybe you're in a relationship where you're doing the same thing over and over again and you're bored or you're just like, it doesn't have the same meaning as it did before. So I'm going to walk through some things that you can do to start breaking this and at least trying to figure it out a bit. First thing, so important, it's the thing that we always forget about, talk to the other person, right? If you're in a relationship, talk to them about it. If it's your practitioner, they're wanting to, to hear from you. They want to know what your, what, what your thoughts are. So that's where you begin. It's a kind of scary place. And what you can say is basically, I think I'm ready for something new and I don't know what that is or I'm thinking about some ideas. I watched a video, this one, and I have some things I want to introduce. That's it. Really simple. And watch them glow with like, ooh, what could that be? Tell me. All right, now, for those of you who are practitioners, or maybe you're on the other side of things, and you're not sure, maybe you're thinking your partner's like, kind of bored, they're just losing their interest, you're not sure you're capturing their attention or that connection, here's some questions that you can ask. And again, all of this is kind of vulnerable and scary, and I'm going to even admit that I have clients that have seen me for a while, and then just stop seeing me. And I'm just learning this now that I can ask these questions to kind of begin to like, while they're still seeing me, kind of figure out what's going on. So here are some examples. Um, <clears throat> it's time that we talked about our relationship. How are, are you and I doing? Again, simple. You can just ask. I did this um, last week. I asked a client, so what do you think about our relationship? Are there any feelings about how we're working together, um, how we're relating? What do you think about it? And it was amazing because he's like, you know, I'm finding that I'm wanting, I really enjoy this, of course, was the response. And then he's like, I'm, I'm finding I'm really wanting some more intimacy. And I knew that was kind of code, if you get my drift. It's like, I'm kind of wanting that. And I, and I was able to have compassion and listen and go, I, I totally understand, like, wanting to be more deeply connected. And how can I best support you right now and just staying where we where we're at right so showing compassion for where they're at like validating that experience and then going how how can I best support us here staying here and I tell you that like the session this week with us same client was so relaxing and it could just felt like there was this weight lifted off like okay I had those feelings and I don't have to act on them and I shared them and now we're cool and now I'm like, okay, I can relax. Because I asked the question, um, let's take a look at what's between us. Like, what's what's going on between the space between us about our relationship? Oof. Well, I mean, it was just amazing. So again, before, like, either feeling the need to, like, escalate because you're like, okay, I'm getting kind of bored or I'm wanting something more or, like, I'm kind of bored just in general and, like, maybe I just need to stop having um, these sessions or stop relating with my partner in this way. Like there's other options to talk about it. All right, now let's be really clear about why you're seeing your practitioner. And I think it helps them to know too. So when you go to them and say, look, I come here for touch and connection, right? I come here to plug in. Really important that you know if that's your reasoning, then you wanting to stick with that. Or maybe as I give you some more reasons, you realize maybe I'm wanting to shift my reasoning for being here. Um, want to be seen and heard, so that for you that would be important to talk about your life. Um, feeling like you matter and making sure the pers other person is demonstrating ways they're showing you that you do matter. Maybe you need some little stable stabilizing in the hectic world, like this calm and quiet place. Again, that's important to know. Maybe you need a balance to your sex life. Let's say if you have a very active sex life, you're looking like, I need touch that's also not sexual. So then move it, you know, move it to that, to that type of touch as well. And like learning how to balance both those worlds. Um, maybe you're also wanting to learn how to like, establish and respect boundaries. Maybe you want to tell your practitioner, hey, I'm going to push boundaries a little bit because I just, I need to know that those boundaries are there. Um, or I'm going to create some new boundaries and I want to experience what it's like to put boundaries up for myself. Again, that's a way to kind of try something different. Um, or maybe you've going to, been going to the gym for a while and you've got these amazing new muscles 
and you want someone to feel your muscles. Anyway, that's kind of a joke. I mean, it's still a legit thing. I haven't had anyone ever want that, but I mean, I, I mean muscles are nice.